we need an overview of the the plan factory ui before but right now i want to go a little bit more in details and just look on all small options what we have here so if we look on our windows you'll notice we have a toolbars on top left and right side we also have it all this additional windows so let's look what we have our main is our preview window which allowed us to view the plant that we're currently working with or maybe other objects you'll notice on the top we have a display mode where we can modify it show other normals shade it ambient occlusion so this way you can preview the plant how it will look with the textures without and also how well it will um, combine with other components we have it also display options we can sw switch from wireframe preview if you need it shade it and some other options notice all these display options you some of them have it also available on your right side for example if we're going here we can enable also wireframe directly we can also click and enable node coloring if we need it work with node color by the way you'll notice here they're all green for example if i select one color node and i'm going to change this node to the red you'll notice how it's changed as well so this way i can very easy track what node is working and related to the graph display just help me very fast identify specific node okay let's disable those things and some of these properties of course we can access from drop down options inside here as well you'll notice for example preview wind and we have it on the global functions right there we have it also wind is enabled as well next we have it our filters if you want to hide any specific uh, nodes like hide our leaves or hide specific this is will help you when you have a very complex plant and some of leaves or some branches maybe cover specific element you want to work like a trunk itself you can hide all of those different nodes and just work on that specific node that you want to visit so the uh, visible so this has allowed you to focus on specific element where you work as well i have it hard elements accessible mesh preview and of course you can enable path tracer which is the start or stop this interactive remember in options you can also specify cut off time for the path tracer by default it will be 30 seconds so after 30 seconds it will stop it but you can modify there if it's too long or too short for you all of these properties from drop down you can access on your side menu it's just a little bit fast shortcut so you don't need to click down and navigate you can just click on a side as well also in our preview window we have it, several gizmo tools one on the top left corner you'll notice we have it positioning object and lighting so this way you can preview if for some reason when you rotate and maybe it's look too flat or kind of very hard to see you can go and modify lighting allow you to preview a little bit better remember this is we're working with two-dimensional representation of three-dimensional world and the shadows highlights it's what give it us perspective on the dimensions so with this gizmo you can create a little bit more understanding how the 3d object actual look in this case and of course you can rotate around inside the um plant factory and view by default controls the little bit different from a standard controls and you can modify them by going inside the file options and inside here on the shortcuts you can modify or you can go modify with load presets which one you like it so this way you can modify however by default if you hold down alt or option and the left click on the mouse it's allowed you to rotate around the select points next if you press middle button on three three button mouse and same alt or option click and hold down then you can pan around and our right button allowed us to zoom in and out so this is just pre-default settings um, below you can have it you can see um, details detailization so you can have it automatic detailizations or you can reduce currently it's kind of lower and let's look this you see how 
our uh, trunk with low detailizations and as we increasing detailizations become round round and uh, better detailizations this is um, useful when you have it very high uh, polygon count and one reduce on some of them so you can create preview just very minimize in this case so let's look on next window so what do we have it our graph or functions editor it's how you call let's call graph window it's on our left corner and right here we have it our predefined the basis uh, nodes input which represent age roots season and health it's not all of them base if you right click and you're going to input nodes you'll notice you have an additional maturity season age and you have some additional um, input nodes and usually you have your input nodes on your left side you have it your process and if you work in different editors you may have it your nodes of which affecting on your right side so it's your output nodes but in here we can look right there we have it vegetation output just node so in this case we can create it and you can see right there we created our output node if we need to connect it's only one in this case okay between them you'll notice we have a multiple different nodes available for us and this is nodes you can access components by a very fast toolbar click on your left side it's all different type of components or you can access by right clicking going in geometry and create from here all these different nodes same what we have it on our left side toolbar so it's just a very fast convenient way to access you also have additional uh, nodes you can use the selectors loops um, input output noise fractals if you need create color texture and so on we'll go through all of those noise later in our videos to just see how they all work and which one is used better in what time scenario so right here i've put it very fast some of the our main and you can see we have it our trunk for example or advanced first node then connect to another ones and we can preview as you're looking around you can see we have it one trunk several branches so let's go ahead we'll hide stuff right there okay. they're all actually branches in this case and also we created a leaves on the end and i just put it this simple um kind of little component so we can preview also animations and animations you can enable by clicking on a wind and when we enable you can see they start kind of moving moving around responding to the uh simulated breeze or wind of course you can modify directions of your wind in different ways so you can preview how it will work it it's useful if you have it uh, maybe more flat plan so you can go from different angles see how they work as well okay let's disable this as we're working inside our node um editor or our graph editor you'll notice that we can create quite a bit complex structure and some of them actually if you're going to file and you're going to open if you open any of these from the plan factory catalog you can see how complex those um, nodes can be and it is a look overwhelmed on the first but when you start working and add add more nodes it's actually come up very um, simple to understand and uh, for me coloring those nodes it's help a lot for example you can saw you saw how before i changed some color on the nodes same things for example if you click even on the leaf and you're going to select the parameters go click on the leaf in a color and change just on different color whatever you prefer it's very easy to identify even you zoom out and you can preview all of them so you know for example your leaf is this color in the and otherwise as well it's much easier when you click on a tree and click enable um, node colors they can very easy identify okay it leaves is responding to this and the red secondary branch responsible to those branches that are going to the trunk so it's just a little bit helpful in this case mostly when you have it very complex and a lot of different nodes working around uh, we won't go too much inside the nodes or other elements because that is will be specific um, class about this video about going to this 
But just generally, you can also specify and search for any nodes. Notice it was saying advanced segment and leaf. So what's happening if we're going and name it um, and branch here, for example. And when we search, you can see right here and branch advanced segment, it's added. So as you change the names on your branches, they will appear in your kind of fine search area. So you can go select and now you just focus on the branch. It's just another ways to help. This is way also it's helpful if you name your branches properly. And to do this, you just go to the name and just click. And there you go. You can rename your branch as you need it. Okay, let's go highlights. You can highlight geometry nodes. It's meaning it's hide everything and just only those nodes that will apply to the geometry. Um, it's one include input output nodes. It's a one include some of the math nodes, but whatever is applied just to create geometry so you can easy access. Okay, let's disable this. Down below we have parameters and this is parameters windows based on global parameters. If we select here, like set up all this stuff, this is a wind global parameter, specific meshing, preset, post-processing, this is global. However, we also have empty parameters, which is representation the node parameters. You'll, you saw when I select, for example, this node down in parameters, now we have additional tabs up here. That is parameters to the selected specific node. So we have our global, and we have our node specific parameters or selected node specific parameters. Okay, if we're going next to this, we have it our um, the material summaries right here, and we'll have it our components. Components when you create it, you can add like draw plant or do other things. So we'll look on the components in the next um, class videos. What is components? How we can preload and use it, this one, but general. You can go ahead and preload any specific components like trunks or branches, other things, for example, and use them after mostly when you draw or when you create it. Like, for example, right here, I select branch, you can see, and I can draw or use it freehand tool to add branches to this. And again, this is from the component when you go down and you can select specific already pre-made components that you maybe want to use it. And of course, as we add additional materials and our material a summary, you can see more and more materials appear. We can modify this by customization on the preview and same preview we can do inside the options, file option preview we can modify here. Also from this window, if you're going to material and double time click, you can open the material editor. By default, it will be the basic material editor. I do recommend switch by clicking on advanced material editor to advanced mode. It will look a little bit more complicated, but not too much because it will provide for us way more option to access as we're working with the different materials. This is a state I prefer the most time work with advanced material editor so you can access and creating and work with all different materials okay next to this we have it our also we'll have it published parameters windows is not here and we also will have it our uv parameters you'll notice as i'm going and select different window okay let me go right there move it stuff away okay Okay, let's switch to selector on top. And as I select trunk, you can see we have it in UV is actually showing our UV preview. Of course, we can switch to different like and branch preview or um, automatical, which is selected. And as well, we can preview different areas. But this is our UV map. It will help when you start using like image based textures and you want properly them wrap around. Um, specific components so right here any of these windows you can actually modify close the remove and this is you can see when we are done with the display workspace lock workspace and after this you of course you can take and move those elements away you want it 
whatever you prefer. Again, remember, after you've done this, be sure to go workspace and check log workspace. It just prevent from accidentally drag some components when you work on your um, work. So this is a little bit more inside the depth, how the work majority it will look on our uh, display preview windows. We look also on our node parameters, graph windows, and components uh, general. And as we're going along to create plant, what we're going to do next time, we're actually going to create uh, the birch tree. So as we're going to work with this, you'll see how we utilize those windows in real project. Well, thank you for watching this and I will see you next time.